Hello, welcome to the Minor Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today I thought we'd go over Soften Harden Edge for polygons. So we need to be in the Polygon menu here and I'll just create a polygon primitive and let's do a let's do a helix. That'd be interesting. So I'll just create a shape here. I'm going to shaded view and then I'm going to literally just adjust these settings a bit to stretch out the uh, coil so it's not so so tight and hide my grid so we have this this is the default settings for the uh, edge hardness and you can see these edges that are running along the helix are I would consider hard that the smoothing of these edges are sharp so you can definitely see the lines as they run along the helix that indicates a hard edge in the uh, for the normals of those edges so if I select this object and go to normals soften edge so you can see here I have soften edge and also harden edge if I just choose the entire object normals soften edge it applies the soften modifier to the entire object's edges. And you can see now that these edge loops that are running along the helix are no longer that sharp, hard edge, but are now soft and smoother. The geometry hasn't changed. It's still the same number of polygons. It's just that the normals for these edges is now soft and doesn't give you that hard line. If I select the object and look at the uh, tops and bottoms of the helix you'll see that you get kind of this darkening shading around the cap and that's because you have such a hard angle here a 90 degree angle to, for this cap surface and whenever you soften that it kind of get makes a bit of a uh, what I would call a surface normal deformation where it just looks wrong with the dark shading and if you want to, you can right click on your object, select a face, and then with that face selected, go to normals, harden edge. And that face's edges has now become hardened with that sharp, hard edge. And again, the geometry is not changing, you're just changing how the normals react. So you can choose faces and apply soften or harden edge to them or of course you can choose edges if I right click and select edges and double click one of these uh, loops there we go if you double click an edge you'll select the entire edge loop and with just that one edge loop selected if I go to normals harden you'll notice the difference that now I have that hard line along that edge loop So in addition to just applying soften edge or harden edge, there is a uh, channel box modifier over here in the inputs. And because I've applied a couple different soften and harden edge commands to this object, I'm just going to normal soften edge and then go to edit, delete by type history to clear out my history list. And now I'll choose that edge loop and harden it again. Double click an edge loop, normals, harden edge. So now that edge loop there has the hard normal edge on it. So when I select my helix and go to my channel box and look under inputs, you see I have poly soft edge one. So it's called poly soft edge even though what I actually applied was the normals harden edge command. They're both called the same thing. And when I click on Polysoft Edge 1, you see I have Angle is 0. Now let me choose another edge loop and double click this one. And I'm going to Normals Soften Edge, even though it won't make a difference because it's already soft. I'm just going to apply it there. So now I have two Polysoft Edge inputs. Polysoft Edge 1 is the original Harden Edge loop. Polysoft 2, Edge 2 is the soften edge loop. 
So when I click on poly soft edge 1, the hardened one, you'll see the angle is 0. When I click on the second one, you'll see the angle is 180. So 0 is the minimum angle uh, value you can have, while 180 is the highest. And what so what this does when you choose normals, soften edge, it's a, or harden edge, it's applying the same modifier to the edges, but one is defaulting to the lowest value, harden edge, and one is defaulting to the highest value, soften edge. So there are values in between. So if I were to choose poly soft edge one, click on the angle channel, middle click and drag. You can see I can drag that value up between 0 and 180. And right there, if you look at the edge loop, you'll see that that's when the threshold breaks and it goes from a hard edge to a soft edge. So what this angle value is doing is it's tell, asking what threshold do you want this edge loop to be soft. So if you're applying an, a soften to an entire object, you can say I only want angles between 46.98254 degrees and above to be soft and the ones below that to be hard. So let me delete this helix and let's choose a sphere to make that a little bit more apparent. I'm going to go to create polygon sphere. And by default, he, you know, the sphere is pretty smooth. It's got a uh, soft uh, normals for, uh, throughout the entire thing. We choose the sphere, go to normals, harden edge. Now you can see that each face of the sphere has become very faceted, and you can see the hard edges. So if I choose it and go to poly soft edge one, my angle is zero. And if I hide my grid and slowly increase this angle, you should see it's a little bit subtle. Let me zoom in. You should see that the harden effect kind of shrink toward the middle. I'm going back and forth now. Hopefully you can see that in the video and or at least hopefully you can see it in your own scene if you can't see it here. So that's you can see here that I have this kind of pumpkin effect and that's with a angle of 10.3 So that's essentially what normal uh, soften harden edge does with your normals. Uh, if you can definitely use it to your advantage in certain situations. If you want to add a hard edge without adding geometry, you can just change the normals reaction to light using this harden edge or soften edge command. Hope you learned something. Hope that was interesting to you. If you have any uh, questions let me know if I miss something definitely let me know and if you have any suggestions for future videos please feel free and thanks for watching